All right, yes, you welcome back to the balanced diet of entertainment this early morning. And for you, we're just a busting the enter the level. Of course, you need to twerk. You just got ginger up because the next bust up will the enter now. And it's already they cook on top of our burner this morning. And this story, it did on top of the pages of all the papers. It done the trend since last week. Come this new week and even this morning for our papers, we see, say, the trend is still there and a lot of protests. Don't shell it for Lagos, for Laosa, for Ikeja, and even now, so they talk so. It be like, say, some rally go shell it for inside Abuja. Now, when they talk about waiting, we they talk about the police special anti robbery squad, aka SAS. Now, if you remember some eight days ago, when um, the Inspector General of Police, Oga Idris Ibrahim, we come outside, recognize the fact, say, a lot of people don't they speak out on top of this SAS matter, and some people they talk, say, we need to end SAS. Some people say, no, it'd be like, say, we need to do something better about this SAS matter. Now, the Inspector General by INSESEF, for inside one statement, uh, where they signed on, as a last week Monday, by the CPS, or Gajimo Moshud, come outside, talk, say, the Nigerian police force don't notice in recent trend of events where they share on top social media, on top this hashtag, and SAS now, and all the controversy. In common side talk, say, you know what thing will happen? The longer and short, we say, we go restructure this SAS, that now the police special unit, um, special anti-robbery squad, we go restructure them in such a way where they go come out better than waiting them be before. Some other people talk, say, if you come on SAS from the society, say, more robbers go day on the street of Nigeria and more mayhem go share for inside our country. Now, we don't bring that down to your table this morning, say, this ends SAS campaign because for this morning on top of our papers, we see some people where they anti. Now, I mean, say, they're against the SAS yeah. people. And I will see some people where they pro. That means they are, they are in support of this um, SAS being kept back. They fit just to restructure them, just as the one restructure Nigeria. Now, one of the phone lines open for you where they are there. Because without you, we're going, we're not going to need to talk about this topic. Because we don't say you where they are there, if they pinch you just as if they pinch us for inside the studio. So feel free to call us on top 012772195, tabina 12 7195 or 012778. One nine five. Tell us your opinion on top of this hashtag NSAS. Are you in support or are you against the NSAS campaign for inside Nigeria? Maybe I should mm. just give a brief history of SARS. Now SARS don't they into in um, they in existence for forty good years, and they actually set them up um, to deal with armed robbery. They set them up to deal with kidnapping, even um, cattle rustling, car snatching, and any other crime where involved the use of firearms. Now SARS don't they very useful in fighting different crimes for different states. Now, for inside Adamawa state, when they be getting a problem with um, um, the militia, for inside them, the way they, they attack people, SARS, so they actually deploy them there, and they actually help to bring a lot of calmness inside that place. Now, for other states, too, where they don't, they go through a lot of badness, too, they deploy a lot of SARS officials inside there, and they don't actually help to bring a level of sanity to those states. Now, according by them, the requirements for you to be um, part of the special anti robbery squad, number one, you must be a policeman. Number two, you must be a general duty officer, and you must, to, you must have been in the job for not less than five years. Now, they say that they go through numerous trainings. Now, you go through the first training. They say you undergo operational training, as well as training on handling of suspects. Now, like you talk, even the um, spokesperson, and Jim Momo, should not come as I talk, say, there has been a lot of allegations on ground, and we are actually investigating these allegations. But for a unit that have been in existence for 40 years, the smartly needs is not the way out, but rather mm -hmm. they are looking for ways on how to restructure them. Mm -hmm. I, just have, I just have to put that on ground so that we understand the history behind the setting up of stars. Yeah, very, very true. This uh, matter is, it don't deal on top of the boner for a while now. I totally, totally agree with um, the, the Inspector General. We cannot scrap it. The level of insecurity where we get inside the country is a lot. But Lola, how effective have they been even in this level of insecurity? It's not in Nigeria? about their. I don't explain to you. They have done least, some they're work. They're not the only ones. Anyway. No, they have done some work. What makes us look at them and focus on them badly is because of the bad eggs where inside. they did do. But when we look at the general uh, picture, you could see say that they work. But there is no way that you. It's just like telling me that EFCC doesn't work. They have good and bad places, but we'll continue this discussion after we come back from our news. And leave our phone lines open. And our phone lines are open for you to call us just immediately after we finish.
Welcome. Um, before we go on top of that break, uh, we discussed uh, whether to end SARS or to just restructure. And I be the big question we did for Grant. And we don't already talk, say, our phone line is there open for you to follow, contribute, and put your own thoughts to this particular matter. It's not about name calling. This one, now, waiting we go do, we go make things, make it day better. Before we go on top of that break, I did try to make a point, say, this thing at this particular, there is nobody, no aid, no, no, no security agency abroad will not get specialized service as a unit within them. FBI day, CIA day, DSS day, these people day, international police, so many, many departments day where they specially train them for some special services. I know that some bad eggs were there amongst the police force or this particular SARS um, unit. Now then they give them all this bad name where they grant. But if we now scrap them, we'll be doing a lot of injustice to ourselves. Because a unit where they exist for 40 years, no matter how bad rich, they go get some good points where they don't do. Yeah, but, we, but it's no, in no. recent times. No, no, when, of, and they are not the only when, agency that is doing any harm. Of course, we know. Say, it's just <clears> like, <throat> see, I, I like the, the year or the, the century we're within, in. We're in a democratic environment where people can come out and speak out, especially yeah. if you get evidence, all to the power of social media. Now, 10, 15, 18, 20 years ago, no Nigerian get the morale to come out talk anything negative about any security agency for inside Nigeria during by the time when we were even living. Even though they did. Even, even though, though they, they did, did we could not come out. nothing was being done about it. We could not even come out before the democratic no. era. Even during the military did. era, we could yes, not come out. Some people that came outside against the we, government You cannot were compare arrested. the people. Exactly. I'm just that saying that even though yeah. they did, so nothing was being done about it. So we need to even give kudos to the fact that we're inside the democratic era where we fit even come out express express our own desire and the government is even listening to even come out and make a statement on top of this kind of issue. But now, one of the criteria where we'll be the Talk before we back, when we'll be back break, say the, one of the criteria when they talk say you need to do in order to, to, to be in the SAS department is first of all, you need to be a police officer, and now from there, people they ask questions on top. But before we go on, we're going to need to um, pick up this call. We get the caller Julius. calling all the way from Delta. Good morning, Julius. Good morning, Julius. Hello, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> you are talking about the area of the uh, yes. Uh, that was that yeah. we are talking about. You know, say oh, sir, they are good. They just that they get one problem. You know where they are. If the way they say they owe all those boys, they for road. They will just see those boys they for road. They will just owe them. They will then they will collect money for their ten thousand, twenty thousand. So they will carry the go ATM, go collect money for their arms. And that is area where they have But this one, this is good because they are protecting the roads, like better space inside. They are going to supply all those roads. The road is very, very bad for all those bad boys. But the staff and the others are near where they they have the road. Make sure that the way that they call it, they collect money for people. Huh? They see you where you dress, wear nice. Say you wear better things, you wear better phone. They will say you be a boy, they will just collect money for you. They will say they won't carry you to the station. That they will go to bed. All the people for KK, they will just hold them. They will then they will collect money for their 10,000, 50,000. All the kind of things they so even they say no good game, they will boom and transfer, they will transfer money for their account. So, kind of they will carry you great and you will collect money for that. The way they do all those what they have, they never do me one share, but the way they do story and the thing they do is very, very bad. And it's very, very bad. Thank you very much. I like that one. Come on, side talk say it's good and it's, doing other yeah. things. But I'm wondering that. Let's get to Kechi calling all the way from Oweri. Good morning, Kechi. Good morning, Kechi. Hello, Nkechi, is today on the line? Huh? Good, good morning. morning. Hello. Hello, good morning, Nkechi. Good morning. We can hear you. I'm talking about, uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion that the uh, tax should not, yeah, I'm of the opinion that tax should not discredit. Tax should not discredit in the sense that in case you're going to help us reduce, reduce the, volume the volume of your TV, TV and I go make you hear us well. Great. Because I still remember some time ago in Onita, the good job they did. Arm robbers, a lot of things, a lot of hideouts, they were the ones that dictated those places and, and, and uh, scraped those uh, robbers. If there are bad eggs among them, they should be fixed out and, mm -hmm. and deal with. Or if there is a um, if there are, if there are areas that are having loopholes, you know where people are complaining, such areas should be addressed. That certain things, each part should be each should be swept in this country. A lot of evil will happen. 
Mm. Very bad, bad things will start happening. I honestly, people should not even listen to them. Those who that want us to be scared are the very bad ones. They are mm. very bad people. So mm. those ones that are not, that are calling the names of stars, I mean the the, the, the people that is working with stars, the bad ones should be should be sad. Or the, the, the matter should be looked into than creating stars. They are doing good job in this country. Thank right. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. I love the way she. No matter how we bad reach. Hold on, you know what? Before we even give our own opinion, let's speak on Yekachi. Okay, we Yekachi. have a lot of people calling us. Oh, all right. Good morning, Yekachi. Hello, Yekachi. Still on the line? Or well, Yekachi, you're going to need to call us back okay. on top of our phone numbers with the school on top of your TV people screen. People are saying good things about them. Now, the bad ones, they give them bad names. And they're not the only agency where we don't they fish for this. Remember one time that it's only men, army, that was doing anyhow. Can I say something? Because when I give a, and when I actually give us the history of SARS, one part of the requirement we say number one, you need to be a police officer. So it is not the special anti robbery squad now we're supposed to be looking to. We're supposed to look into the entire do you, do you get what I mean? Yeah. We're supposed to look into the entire, entire police, police force. force. And, now the first question, and do you know that they have a good criteria? Because it's not just that they want new entrants to be in in the special unit. You must have worked for like five years. That means you go don't get training. Of course. You go don't get experience. So they are not really recruiting uh, fresh, 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 fresh people. We're not savvy. What did they do? You are supposed to have been uh, cut your teeth as a police officer before you can be drafted into this um, um, unit. So now we need to <coughs> identify these bad eggs inside the special anti -robbery. And fish them and out fish them and out. bring them to book. Because we are seeing them perform. We are seeing them bring sanity to a, to, to a lot of distressed community. So the bad ones inside where they collect money, we need to actually fish them out. Mm -hmm. So this actually boils down if to, even to the police force itself. Yeah, yeah. Some people still have the opinion. And so another people, come back to yeah. restructuring, they say restructuring, restructuring. We have a lot of sectors where they don't come out and say we need to restructure. Because now when you say restructuring, it's, it's, it's becoming a word that's even small picking. They laugh like, <laughs> restructuring. <laughs> they laugh us when because we use that word. Be because we have never serious. done anything effective. In yeah. any of the sectors or any part of the country where we want to talk, say we don't restructure, quote unquote. Restructure, so if yeah. you want to talk about restructuring, if you want to look at the past record, look at the past history of certain things where the government don't choke and inside how effective it's I totally been. agree but with you. So get Onyeka, Onyeka Onyeka Chi, good morning. Uh, good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. Make your point. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm listening to your program. You see, the issue of SARS is not there. The people that are calling for the scrap of SARS. <clears throat> but they are, are the ones that are thief. Because if your hand is very, very okay, I don't think that you call to remove any, 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 any uh, uh, security agents. So what I'm saying that is the pe people that their hand is not clean that are calling to remove that on the road. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Now, some of the penalties where um, the police spokesperson, Jim or Moshe, don't come outside talk, he say if they catch any um, size operative where they found one thing as regards to extorting money from their victims and, and putting them through a lot of um, pain and beatings, he said what they go do be say the appropriate measures will be taken out on them. He said even no matter the rank or, and even the position where you belong to, they go dismiss you from the force and also they go indict you for discreditable conduct. And that's mm. if evidence is brought before the court. If, if yes. evidence. That and that is where we are stuck in Nigeria yes. when it comes evidence. to evidence gathering. Mm -hmm. I always say that many high profile cases are just emotionally tried. You can't try cases emotionally. We lawyers, no matter what you do, if you don't have a good um, defense, or you don't put your papers right, you will, your case will be thrown out. Criminals will walk. But if our agencies really need them to be prosecuted, we need to stop trying emotionally. We need to put things on ground. We get JC on top of the line. Good morning, JC. We need them to be prosecuted. We need to stop trying emotionally. Hello, JC. You there on the line? Good morning. Yeah. JC, please help us to reduce the volume of your TV set. Hello? Hello, good morning. All Hello. right, good morning. This is Jesse Corey from Lagos. You are welcome. Yeah. I want to say a word about this end of the, this staff, this issue of calling for motion. You know, a lot of things have been going on, you know. This staff issue, we have the bad ones and we have the good ones. 
So if they are saying NSAT, 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 I, in my own opinion, Nigeria will be a dustbin because there are many criminals on the streets, many people on the streets. Even where I stay, you can be walking, people will snatch your bag, you will stay, start to be moving people, but things are going on that we, we need to just investigate before we start doing something that is not good so that we don't regret in the future. Yeah, I know that is not good because some people will be walking on the way, you are wearing good clothes, you are holding phone, they will say, hey, Mr. Man, stop. Before you next thing you know, you are inside the car, take it to the ATM, you withdraw money, you give to them. Yeah, bad ones are there. But this end of that is not going to work. Because if we end it, we ourselves will be the ones to be regretting it. Because they are really helping us in this Nigeria. So, thank you. Thank, thank you very much, much Jason. Now, um, no, look, one of the callers will be gave a call talk say um, say sometimes when they catch anybody for road, whether you be thief or not thief, if you carry them to the ATM, mm -hmm. they, so they can even release even an arm robber with thief. But even oh. also get a call on the line, Tosin. Tosin, good Lord morning, from Lagos. Good morning, Tosin. Hi, good morning. My name is Tosin. You're welcome, welcome. To show, sir. Yeah, I've listened to your program before. Never actually took my life. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Nigeria. So I want to say, uh, you guys will be saying um, you need to switch out. The bad guys among them, the bad guys. First of all, first of all, how do you pick out the bad guys among them? That is the first question I have for you guys. Now, secondly, answers or no answers does not have to stop. The reason why people are saying you answers is because right now it's really, really affecting them. Okay, for instance, I'm an engineer, I'm an IT engineer. I can't work freely with my laptop. I have to go about with my ID card to identify myself if someone would me on my way. Now, and the problem we're having is that majority of people are saying they should enter are youth and because it's affecting them. So if I see if you guys should enter, you guys need to come up with a way whereby you can fish out the bad ones among them. But how do you guys want to fish out the bad ones among them? That's the question. Well, to say I, I, I so bad on the point when he makes that a lot of young people are the ones that are the uh, at the receiving end, really. I've heard of people now, if you buy a laptop, you go need to they carry the receipt, receipt yes. of your laptop up and down. Any young person wear dress well, carry better for they go say you be Yahoo boy. Okay. And now that they, they even say they carry them to ATM, there are many ways they can catch them. Every ATM has video camera. If there are accusations, there are so many things, uh, areas that they can use to catch them. Shabi, you follow the guy, go ATM. The camera will pick you. Right, and we should, we should? Tayo. Temi Temi Tayo. Tayo is calling us from Lagos. Good morning, Good morning, Temi Tayo. Okay. Oh. And we should even have a back. line that you can report to. Yes. I made that line they're very infected because I know say a lot of Nigerians, we get all those complaint lines, but a lot of us don't call those complaint lines and nothing has been done about them. But we should have it and it should be effective so that if you complain about a particular um, police officer, Action will be taken immediately. Yes, you go feel for your job. I've seen one video on top social media where they, be, they show how some SAS officials be they we tell some boys made them face the wall. The person they video and boy they fear because from the video, you know if you see the officers clearly, mm. but the man they threaten with him gone. Say if you not turn, I go shoot you. I wish I could see the officer's face. Because sometimes when they try video, they go take your phone. Ah. They go seize them. They go slap. Mm -hmm. In fact, they even turn that phone against you, saying that evidence for them. Oh, against yes. You, if you're not careful, because it's your word against theirs. You know, our security agencies, I honestly, I know it sounds little, but I know they need psychological evaluation. We need more psychologists in the country. If you are not paying these people well, and their condition of service is not good, you remember one time that they said they didn't have better equipment. Mm -hmm. And yet we have sophisticated weaponry Important. entering the country. Illegally. Many of them will break in their mind. And if you don't know the psychological state of the people where they protect people, why wouldn't they become the enemy themselves? Mm -hmm. So when they do some of these things from time to time, you could see, say, go help a little. I know, say, this matter will be something where we'll go feed discuss finish for today, uh, but we'll go still find another time when we'll go feed give updates on what's in the progress where they don't make on top of this answers or no answers campaign. Now, so we see I'm on top of the show today. Tomorrow, now, another day, we'll. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.